Hi everyone, just want to show you another welder I built. Now I'm just going to turn it on and I'm going to try to strike an arc and run a bead on a piece of uh, steel over there. And then I'm going to explain how it works and what it's made out of. Okay, so there's the weld. Um, I'm just going to bang off the slag. The wire brush. But anyway, you can see um, the weld right there. Now I've hooked up a bridge rectifier from an alternator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the welder on DC now. I've just connected the two. Um, outputs from the secondary into the um, three-phase um, bridge rectifier, but I'm only using the two term. So there's a DC weld, just on some sheet metal. Um, it's very thin metal, but just bang off the slag and see what that looks like. I ran a bead across that. It's very thin metal. So. Now how I built the transformer is I used a stator. And the stator is from a 120 volt AC uh, furnace fan motor. This one's a third horsepower. Um, it's an induction motor, also called a squirrel cage motor. And what I did is I took the stator out. I had to cut this um, casing apart and remove the entire stator. Then I unwound the stator and rewound it into this configuration. And I used this heavier wire as my secondary. Now I have a video um, of how I built the, um, the transformer. And I'm going to post that or I'm going to post it on to a new site, a new channel. Now that is my second homemade welder, not utilizing any uh, microwave transformers or anything. So um, all you need is to find a induction motor, uh, also called a squirrel cage motor. Um, one half horsepower or larger would be, would be best. And you can build one of these and if you build yours with heavier wire and um, if you find a, a larger motor then you can get a lot more current out of this. Unfortunately this is just was a test uh, to see if it would actually work and I just had a one-third horsepower motor so the main winding inside the the motor was quite thin so but anyway and I only used 12 gauge wire um, as my secondary. Well, that is my homemade round transformer arc welder. Thank you for watching.